Welcome back, everyone, to episode 55 of our Control Ultimate Edition Let's Play series. We are still in the AWE DLC portion of the game, and we have just driven um, Dr. Hartman out of this uh, lunar landing, uh, I want to call it like a hangar type thing, and now we picked up a side quest called Gerbil Took the Top Head, and we're supposed to speak to this voice on the intercom, so let's go ahead and get started. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back and front. And Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay, okay. Take it easy. I'll... Uh... I'll take a look. So maybe it wants something to read, or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. Okay. <laughs> so this might have to be something that I don't know if it's located in this sector or not. I'm probably gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and check up high. Because I feel like that might give us what we want. Let's uh, just do a quick cruise around here. Just to check and see. And if I don't find anything up here, then we're just going to move on and, uh, and circle back to this later. But I do want to give this a chance. Because I do believe the solution is probably in this room somewhere. I, it's just a matter of I don't want to take 10 minutes or 15 minutes searching for something that might not be here. Um, but what we're going to do is also check the labs... Yeah, I don't think there's anything on that crosswalk. We're also going to check uh, the labs downstairs here. And uh, see what we can find. There's a chest. it's in the mobile lab one. This could be what it wants. Let's give it a shot. It's probably not it. It's probably going to make us go back and forth, back and forth finding stuff. No, no, jars. A head. Scotch and peppers? Head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. like this. <laughs> Looks like a cheese plate. Head. A. S. B. E. Head. Nope. Let's keep trying. Let's make sure it's not here. Alright, so I'm just going forward a little bit more because, well, no, I don't think his item would be this way. Um, so we've checked both mobile labs. We've checked here. There's nothing. 
Let's just do a quick another breeze through down here. Maybe it's in this area. Like in these offices. I guess we'll check the mobile labs again. Ah. Drink. And that thing. Maybe this will do the trick? That's gotta be it, right? wasn't it either huh. all right well uh, let's see if it was that drink this might do it maybe lady you are school and dirt for losing Keep that up, and I won't help you anymore. <laughs> Let's go check the other lab. It looks like there's only stuff in the two labs. Let's see if this will do it. <sighs> I'm ready to be done with this. <laughs> Same. Furry clocks, lady. The head. Head. Head, head, no snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top, the top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? And how did it lose it? Okay. So that is at the sector head office. It looks like that's not here. Um, so we're going to have to come back. We're definitely going to have to come back um, after we find what it wants. So um, let's keep going. And we will circle back later. Because I do want to complete that quest. All right, let's go through the service ducts. Uh, that is darkness that needs to be cleansed. So is that. Oh, there's a light. Another side quest complete. That was more like an errand or a job. That was not a side quest. Whoa! 
Damn, maybe I shouldn't have uh, jumped down like that. Shit. Okay, um, sector head office. Am I even near that at all? No. But we do need to go to the, uh, the AWE place, right? Return to active investigations. It's this way. Um, maybe we can fast travel to the sector head office, though. Um, let's see. This one. See if we can find what that guy wanted. Okay, um, I don't think it's this way. It's got to be back through this cell area, right? Kind of has to be. Oh, we have to kill that boss. in there until I kill him. He's dropping some health. There we go. Prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. So that prisoner has gotta be the um, the fourth member of the mission that came back. Um for Morrow, this one. Alright, that was cool. See if we can get inside, or in, you know, talk to the thing inside. The head River Chicken Station. <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hello, lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's long around. But holdouts and happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. I think. Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Mmm, damn. We did get a mod called Thin Space.
launch speed on launch kills. Launch energy cost. Shield strength. I think we already had that. Um, projectile speed plus five hundred percent, exclusive to charge. Woo Hell yeah! Let's do that. Let's do that, dude. Five times the projectile speed. Oh shit, dude! That's. Oh yeah, that's sick. That's probably one of the best mods in the game. Alright, um, let's return to active investigations. Again. I'm really glad I did that mission. Alright, let's take a look. Active investigations. I think we have to go this way there, right? Yeah. Good look at him, and Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster <laughs> from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh, did, nasty. Real did you say something? Instant. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Ugh, oh, so disgusting. All right, he's finally done talking. <laughs> All right, boys. Rewritten. The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Let's see. Let's check out that hotline. I've written and rewritten. Deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress. Recap, then write more. The style then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart. Rewrite it. Be clever. Make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it. You just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed. You set it up, they put it together. Their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now.
Huh. That almost sounds like making making altered items, what he was talking about there. He's making the making the circumstances and the situation just right to where people believe it and it just sort of happens and creates. All right, boys. I think we're going around towards our final boss battle here. I don't know. It just feels like it. it might not be, but it feels like it. Those things are a lot easier now that I know I can um, just break his shield with a simple throw. Alright, any more darkness? I don't think there's any more. Invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. But it'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they said. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Yep, that's what made him so pissed. <laughs> Cauldron Lake Lodge. I believe when we play Alan Wake Remastered, we're going to be visiting that lodge. Or we might be visiting the lodge now. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I've forgotten. Dive. 
Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Darkness. Creepy. new hotline we're gonna watch this hotline guys and then i'm gonna cut the episode the story needed many beginnings many springs streams that turned into a river a flood and then an ocean this was one wake used the materials he had the connections he had the people the places wake put them in to make it true his wife the psychiatrist his city these connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. A thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her. Went berserk. Broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. I'd try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Hmm. Alien with human intelligence? Very interesting. Not sure what that's trying to tell me yet. Alright guys, well that's the end of the episode. When we continue, we're going to go ahead and pull this light switch and uh, see what happens. So anyway guys, my name is Free Nachos. Thanks as always for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.